Welcome to Photographing America, Episode 4, Life in Sanderson, Texas, sponsored by Panasonic Lumix. I kind of went to Sanderson, Texas on a whim. It's West Texas. It was five hours out of my way from where I was going in Austin. But I recently received a, an invitation from the Desert Air Motel, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Pulled into Texas drove about five hours west and showed up in Sanderson, the cactus capital of Texas. There was cactus everywhere, no doubt. Across the street was the Desert Air Motel. I pulled up there. It's a retro looking motel in really great shape. The sign's been all redone and I made contact with them early on and they invited me into stay at their place and check out the town of Sanderson. They said, I think you'll really like it. Stephanie manages the hotel. She's fantastic. Uh, she gave me a, a whole rundown on where everything was in town. She actually lives in town. And she told me she'd get a hold of Jim Davis. And Jim Davis would take me around and uh, give me a tour and give me a little bit of history about the town. She also told me that the restaurants in town were closed until Wednesday and it was Monday night. So I crossed the street to the uh, gas station across the street and the border patrol was there as well, obviously because there's no place else open to eat. So I went over and had a chat with the border patrol. They filled me in on a few things. They said Sanderson was a great place. The crime rate was zero. Everybody just didn't even lock their doors and left their keys in their car. It was a great place to be and a safe place to wander around. As I crossed the street back over, the sky had turned into this magnificent looking uh, artwork and the sign was lit up. So I immediately made a, a quick image of that. And it also had the refrigerated air and vented heat, which dates back to when the hotel started. Now this is Jim Davis. Jim decided he was going to come over and give me a tour. And this is my ride. His mule thing is great. He took me all over the place with this. Pulls up with his music playing. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than this. You can't make this stuff up. Jim took me up into the mountains there and, and showed me where they had the great flood and explained to me about a train wreck they had. So I encourage you to look up Sanderson, Texas to see the, about the train wreck and also the great flood. Jim also said to me, well, you're not going to stay at the hotel tonight and just be in your room by yourself, are you? And I said, well, I don't know. What else am I going to do? He said, well, I have plans. He said, you've got to come over to the house. He said, my friend Condi's going to come. We're going to play some music. So come on over and hang out. So there I went. I went over to Jim's house. These guys showed up, and I was like, wow, this is a pretty cool setup. I wonder if they're any good. Well, it turns out they are pretty good. I was actually blown away when these guys started playing. Who just invites you into their house to just enjoy some homemade food and great music? People of Sanderson were just amazing. Next up, I walked back to the hotel and I met up with Albert. Albert was sitting in a backhoe. I walked over and I looked up at him and I thought, wow, this guy is a picture waiting to happen. Talked to him for a bit. He climbed down off the backhoe and said, yeah, I'm real interested in, in showing you around. He said, you got to go and come back to the house and see my wife's John Deere collection. I said, really? Oh, okay, that sounds good. He climbed off the backhoe. 
I made a quick portrait of him when he got down right before we got over to go into his house. We walked in the house and Sherry was in there and she said, oh, you got to check out. I've got John Deere stuff dating way, way back, all historic stuff. She showed me all her stuff and, and I had a beer with them. And then I said, well, you know, I'd really like to make a portrait of you too if I could. And you know, most portraits are pretty uncomfortable. People don't really know how to pose. Well, they sort of did. So this was their natural look. I mean, Sherry just went over, put her head on Albert's shoulder, and, and this is what I wound up with. It was just a great moment. I had a blast. Albert told me, you got to go to the hardware store and meet Travis. I thought, well, all right, let me check that out. He said, well, you'll know the hardware store when you see it. It's Kerr's old building. It's the oldest building in town. It's also the biggest one. When I drove down there, sure enough, yep, I definitely rec recognized Kerr's building, but I also recognized that it had some pretty wild stuff outside. So I went inside and I thought, well, let me just see who Travis is and see how interesting this could be. And there's Travis. Travis just sitting behind the counter, hanging out, having a cigarette. He told me that he stores his stuff outside and no one ever bothers it. He had things outside that were really valuable. He said, no, we don't have a problem in town. If anybody needs anything and, and I'm not here, they'll take it. They'll come in the next day and they'll tell me they took it and they give me the money. He said, it's amazing. So then I went to the ranch house, highly recommended and the only restaurant in town. Decided I'd go to the ranch house for dinner. So when I went in, I, I didn't really know what to expect. Well, here was the chef, because culinary badass isn't a job title. It was great. Now the next person I saw was Jessica. Now this is Texas, so it's not unusual for people to be packing a sidearm. Obviously, in a waitress, when when a waitress is armed, you pretty much like your food no matter what. But she was absolutely amazing. She's she's my friend on Facebook now, and we chat back and forth all the time. Across the street was Uncle's. Uncle's is a really interesting place at night. The black sky and and the lights just made it just pop. Jessica told me, you need to see Jenny tomorrow morning and show her this picture. She'd love it. She's probably never seen the place at night because she's usually not there. People just pull in, they get gas using a credit card. So the next morning, I popped in and there was Jenny. I told her all about the shot that I had taken. I showed it to her. She gave me her email address and I was able to send her the photo. So just as I was leaving... This was my last day in Sanderson. Just as I was leaving, I said, well, this is going to be it, so take care, Jenny. Maybe I'll see you again some other time. Well, I walked outside, and as I walked outside, I met BB. BB is in her 90s, and she is the sweetest thing ever. I have no idea what in the world the spoon is sticking out of her pocket, but we had a little bit of a conversation. She talked about Sanderson and told me, you know, that I should come back and she would show me around the next time I'm here. So this was the end of my tour in Sanderson, and BB was just an amazing person. So thank you for stopping by and checking out episode four, and I hope to see you again. And this is the next slide is thank you to the wonderful people of Sanderson. I had a blast.